Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can update your social media preview cards. Most likely, you might have asked yourself, can I change the way that these links appear when I share a link on a social media platform? The answer is yes. You can easily change the way that these previews will appear on platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. The way it works is you need to actually inject a little bit of special code into your web pages to make them appear in a certain way. You could always add this special code manually if you know how to edit HTML pages. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can change the way that these links are gonna appear using a free SEO plugin. The plugin I recommend is called All-in-One SEO. This plugin not only is a good SEO plugin, but it also has tons of features and flexibility for you to control your social media uh, link previews. So let's just jump right into it and I'll show you exactly how to change it. After you have installed and activated the all-in-one SEO plugin, you're gonna see over here on the left panel under all-in-one SEO, there's a tab called social networks. Click on that and go over to Facebook. And by default, this is turned off. This is called the enable open graph markup. So this is that special code I was telling you about. This is going to add this code automatically to your pages so you don't have to touch all this HTML code. So turn that on and I'll walk you through a few steps on what you need to update here and how it works. So the very first one is called the default post image source. Now in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to probably keep this at featured image. So what this is going to do is anytime you post on a social media platform, this image will be your featured image. So what I do like about this plugin is they give you a lot of flexibility right here. Um, most other plugins don't give you these amount of options to have for your image source. So you can see a featured image, attached image. This will pull the first image in your content. So if you have a blog article, it will pull the very first image inside the body area. The next one, you could do image from custom field. So if you have advanced dynamic options, you can add it right here. You have like post author and the first available image. So like I said, in most cases, I would just keep this at featured image. And then what this is, this is kind of like your fallback. So if it doesn't have a featured image, it will at least show something. So you may want to have, if you have a, a good branding or your logo or something, just add that right here. So in our case, it was just a picture of us working at the desk. So if for some reason a post or a page doesn't have a featured image, it will just go to this. And what's useful about this plugin is they're gonna tell you what dimensions you need to have it. And so they give you the dimensions and all that right here. So you just upload it, hit select, and you just go up here, hit save changes. I usually keep everything else down here uh, as default because you can actually change all of these settings um, on each page or post. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next step. So if you have a Twitter account, you can come in here and enable the Twitter card. And so this is uh, pretty similar to the Facebook settings. This is where you can go ahead and change if you want it to be a summary or summary with large image. A summary is like this right here where you have an image on the left, your title, your description, and your website name. That's called a summary. And then a summary with large image is where the image is filling the whole container here. And it will look just like the Facebook one, basically. So it would look more like this on your Twitter account. And same features here. I recommend keeping a featured image here and then you can do your default image just like your Facebook one. So you would make those edits here. Um, I keep everything else the same down here. Just hit save changes. So now let's do a test to make sure that everything is working correctly as if we were gonna post on LinkedIn. So in this example, I'm on the about page. We'll just hit copy and let's do a whole new post right here. And let's see what image it brings in. So it brings in that image of us. So that was the original default one because this doesn't have a featured image. Now let's go ahead and manipulate this and add a totally different image here to see if we can make it work on LinkedIn. So to do that, what you do is you go to the page that you wanna make an edit. You would click edit page. And down here, you're gonna have your all-in-one settings right here. So it's separated out by general, social, schema, and advanced. So this is the default page title and meta description right here. And if you scroll up to social, this is where you're gonna change your Facebook 
uh, image. So let's go ahead and change that here. And like I said, I know it's a little confusing because we're on LinkedIn. So let me go ahead and do custom image. So as you can see, we don't have a featured image. So it went back to this image here. So let's throw in a totally different image and see what works. Let me just throw in one of our blog post images. So now this is going to show you what it's going to look like as if it was being posted to Facebook. In this case, I wanted to just update it on uh, LinkedIn, for example. So let's hit update. So let's go into LinkedIn and paste in that URL and see what happens. And there you go. So now that we know that works, if you switch over here to the Twitter tab, um, like I said before, if you have a Twitter account, you can actually have uh, different information than your Facebook one right here. But in my use cases, I usually select this tab right here, uh, use data from Facebook tab. What this is going to do is just going to pull in the information from Facebook into your Twitter. This way you don't have to remember to update things in two different spots. And if you click right here where it says summary with large image, this is what it's going to look like inside Twitter. So you can see summary with large image. It brought it over here. Where's the summary? You're going to have to have a certain uh, image dimensions right here. So I would say in most use cases, just do summary with large image. Hit update. So now you don't have to update it in two different spots. So the thing I do like about this tool is it gives you the ability to see exactly how it's supposed to look inside Twitter and Facebook right here. There's a really good tool that I wanted to recommend. It's called metatags.io. And the way it works is you put in a URL here, hit enter. It can actually show you how it's going to look on Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Slack. So let me turn all of these on. And you can see right here, it's just going to show you an example of how it's going to look on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Um, this is a really good tool. Now, if you ever come across a situation where you make edits to uh, settings back here to update your images or your titles and they don't refresh correctly on the social media platforms, um, this is a really good reference. It's called the official debuggers. So Facebook has one, Twitter, LinkedIn, and then structured data is Google. So for example, you have an issue and it's not updating on Facebook, you would just go click here, log into your Facebook account and just put in the URL and it will give you the ability to clear the cache because that's what's happening is a lot of times links will be cached with your old images or your text. So you need to go into one of these debuggers and change it here. Uh, I know it's a little extra step, but if you're going to be making a lot of edits to your images, you may want to bookmark these. So if you have any issues sharing uh, images in the future on these social media platforms, that don't update, just reference back to these, plug it in, clear the cache and you should be good. And that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful in explaining on how you can update the way your social media feeds are going to display your links on your website. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new videos.